What's up, mentorship group, mentorship freaks? It's a daily dose of the mentorship motivator. Today, we're talking about one of my favorite military terms. You know, I, I live in military terms and military acronyms. It's just the way it goes. And you, as you've seen, a lot of the business world can relate directly to the to the military in terms of structure, operating manuals, operating procedures, and leadership, communication. It's all based off of military principles and structure. So today we're talking about adapt and overcome. Also known as what I like to call in my the more professional way of me talking about it is agility. I call it agility. Adapt and overcome means having agility. But it also means FIO, which we talked about, figure it out. That's how you adapt and overcome, by figuring shit out. But also adapt and overcome really comes down to translation of don't be a little bitch. And there's so many terms that can be translated into just don't be a little bitch. And it's solved so many things. That phrase alone can probably cure world, solve world hunger and world peace and everything. Just don't be a little bitch. Stop being a little bitch. It's basically what adapt and overcome is. But we're going to break it down a little more technical than that. So basically when it comes to adapting and overcoming, you have to be open. Open mind, an open-minded professional, an open-minded leader. Even if you're at the top of your organization, which... You know, you probably are. You can't be set in your ways. You can't have no wiggle room and so stubborn that there's only one way of doing things, that your way is the only way of doing things. You can't be thinking like that. You also have to know the boundaries, right? You have a, a standard operating procedure. You have a way that you do things in your business, right? You have a manual that, that says how you do it, and there's your manual, right? So you need to know what are the boundaries that you can step outside of that manual and still make the impact you're looking for and still be profitable so that you can help more people and still make an impact without taking huge major losses, but also to make your clients, your customers freaking happy. Sometimes you need to step outside of the boundaries. That's what adapting and overcoming is. Sometimes you need to, and you also need to drill that and teach that into the your people that are following you, especially your leadership team, your team leaders, your managers, whatever you want to call it. What wiggle room do they have how what what are their boundaries outside of the standard operating procedures because there always is there always has to be exceptions to the rule right there's always an exception to the rule there has to be and then your management your management team's probably gonna have wider boundaries because they can understand it but you even have to have boundaries outside of that for your daily operators the, your, your 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 marines on your soldiers on the front line in the trenches what are their boundaries to come outside of there so you need to think about that what are the boundaries then you need to think about change, right? You need to be adapting, overcoming is basically all about dealing with change, always being prepared for change and realizing nothing, nothing, or at least most things, except for things that go on in your head, nothing is in your control. Nothing. There's just nothing in your control. Everything in the world is always changing. That's an old thought from Stoic philosophy, kind of based off of some of the, the presentation recently that we just did. Everything is always changing. Everything. There is nothing that's the same from one second to the next. Nothing. That your this bald head is a little billionth of a less fraction, less bald every second, right? Hopefully. Hopefully it's growing back in. Maybe that's not the case for some people. But everything's always changing. Your business is always changing. The, the economy is always changing. Your your emotions, your feelings, your everything is always changing. Nothing is in your control except for the thoughts that you put in your own fucking head. So remember that prepare for the change prepare for changes and prepare for any all the different possibilities all the different perspectives that are possible so when change happens it won't shock you if and when it happens because everything always changes and we know sometimes there's huge changes sometimes tiny changes be ready for it you can't freak out all the time we know that right stay in the green we've already learned that you can't freak out with every single change or guess what your people are going to freak out with you. They're going to freak out with you. They're going to freak the fuck out and you're going to be the entire team now becomes ineffective. Also be willing and prepared for the change that's going to happen in you personally, professionally, and as a leader. You're going to change. You're going to change personally. You're going to change professionally. You're going to change as a leader as time goes on, as you keep learning and studying and growing and, and reading right? And practicing and training yourself, you're going to be changing in your personal life. So you need to be prepared for that and willing for that to happen because it's going to happen and almost prepare the people in your world 
for the change that's going to happen in you because you need to maybe help them change with you, help them up their level with you, or else there's not going to be any space in your circle for them because you're going to outgrow those people. So if you want those people along for the ride, guess what? You need to help them adapt and overcome to the changes also that are coming around. So how do you, you can, you can prepare for that by hunting, searching, looking beyond today. Of course, you want to live in the moment and work on the present and be present all the time. But also as the leader, you need to be thinking out in the future, 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, two years, five years, 10 years, and think of all the possible changes that could possibly happen. Anticipate it, be prepared for it. Think of every possible way that you might have to adapt and overcome in every possible situation and, and for, for every possible change that might be happening. Be ready for anything. Be ready for fucking war. All on the green, of course. Never freaking out. Never getting too happy. We already know that stuff. But it makes so much sense, that ED. It makes so much sense in, in, the, in so many different areas of life. It fits in. So you need to clearly, and when, when change is coming, right? You know change is coming. You're, you're the leader, so you're playing far out in advance. At the appropriate time, you need to clearly and openly share the, the upcoming change with your team so they're ready for it. Or maybe there's possible problems coming that you see on the horizon that you could problem solve together with the team. Bring in the people. Get them involved. The people that could possibly help you. You don't have to get everyone involved on every problem or roadblock or situation, but bring in the people who, who can help you with that. And then also help your entire team to accept the change that's coming. Also let them... like drill it into their circuitry of their freaking brain that change is normal change is happening all the time that they need to be flexible they need to they need to be ready for anything because it's always going to be changing and the business is always going to be changing and come up with new pro new products new procedures new services new ways that they need to do things you need to clearly and openly communicate that stuff with your team then you need to change your communication style also adapt and overcome also means in your communication you need to communicate with one person differently than you need to communicate with another person, depending on the relationship you have with them, depending on how they react to different situations. You know your people. You need to learn your people so you can adapt and overcome and, and help one person deal with change a little bit differently than you help someone else deal with change. And adapting and overcoming also means not taking shit personal. Being flexible. Having the agility. That's why I say agility. You have to be ready to move and zig and zag. Not taking shit personal and make adjustments when needed. The word pivot, right? The word pivot's out there. That's a cool word nowadays on, on the thought leader world and Instagram and all that other shit. Pivot, pivot, pivot. I just call it having agility. Having agility at any time. Your reflexes, like all of a sudden, bam, you could just move and hit that direction if you had to for whatever amount of time. And then maybe back up, back to the same direction you're on. Whatever. Be flexible and agile. Agility is the key when it comes to your people, when it comes to adapting, overcoming, when it comes to dealing with change, need to be flexible. So back to being so being flexible and agile and communicating with your team, giving your team some boundaries. I'm going to give a quick example. So I had a coach teaching a session. It happened that we had two two people, one person away on vacation, then two people away at a workshop. The rest of our leadership team was away at a workshop. I was actually here. This coach had a family situation come up, her mother or something, whatever, it doesn't matter. She had no one to watch her kid at 10, 15, or by a certain time, right? If she finished her session on time and stayed after the way she's supposed to, she never would have been able to get to watch her kid in time. It just wasn't going to happen. This was like last minute. This is in the morning. She's texting me this because the rest of the team, leadership team, was out of town. I happened to be in the only one in town, so she's texting me. Now, I had a busy schedule that morning. I had a lot of meetings and things I had to do, so I couldn't go in there and cover for the session. Normally, I would, and I didn't want to. So I told her. It's an hour-long class. You're supposed to say 15 minutes after. I told her, finish the session five, eight minutes early. First, make sure you whoop their ass. Get, like, over-deliver on your session for this day only. Finish five to seven minutes early. Let the front desk know that what's going on. You do your post-workout cool-down circle. Let them know. Get, whoop their ass for 45, 50 minutes. Do a cool-down cool, cool down circle for two or three minutes and be out. And let the front desk just take over with anyone needed to have any purchases or anyone had any problems with their account or whatever. Go in there, whoop their ass, leave a couple minutes early. That's fine for this one time, obviously for this situation. That's how you follow within the boundaries. Now, if she did this every single day when it was an emergency, then it's a problem. But you have to realize there's got to be wiggle room. You have, you're dealing with humans. That, that shit comes up and you adapt and overcome. So that was a victory in so many ways. She got to get her kid on time. The, 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 team, the, the class got even a, a crazier workout than usual because usual, she's worried about leaving early that she's not going to give them the full session. So she's more engaged in the class probably than ever, like just really whooping their ass. So they're getting a better workout. 
the front desk gets to be more engaged with the members and gets put on the spot, help her grow and elevate her game a little bit, probably end up selling some more stuff, got more reviews because she felt, felt like she had to keep them occupied and deliver for those last two or three minutes and additional time after the session. And the coach sees that I'm willing to work with them and willing to help them out in a tight situation. It's a win-win situation. Adapt and overcome. Be agile. And that decision that is made on the spot. Just came up with that right then. And now we kind of know how to deal with stuff like that. And it worked out totally fine. No one even realized the class ended just a couple minutes early. It's totally fine. They got the same workout they would get. We do 60-minute classes. So it actually allows us a little bit of that wiggle room. So be flexible. Have agility. Help your people out. Teach them how to adapt and overcome. Teach them how to make these tough decisions and make shit happen. How to F-I-O, figure shit out. Actually, that's F-S-O, but you get the point. So when it comes to change and you're making changes or you're training someone new or you're adding in new product services that people need to learn, do not let your people use change as an excuse to not be productive and get the outcome and the goals that you're looking for. Don't let, they'll try to use that as an excuse. Don't let them like, oh, our numbers are down because of these changes we made or because of this new person we had to, to train. It's bullshit. You have systems in place. You still need the same outcome even throughout changes, right? You still need to, to, to sell, sell your services. You still need to make freaking money. You still need to keep your, your existing current clients freaking happy. Because listen, growing companies, the biggest companies, the most successful companies, the fastest growing companies in in all competitive industries, you know who leads the pack? The ones who are changing, the ones who are agile, the ones who are willing to change, accepting change, the ones who are updating shit and evolving rapidly, the ones who are creating shit while everyone else is trying to copy them. That's who is leading the pack in every industry, every competitive industry. You need to be active, responsive, agile, adapt and overcome just as rapidly with all the, in all those areas, all areas of life, faster than your competition can adapt. You need to be like, bam, switch, direction, change, do what you got to do, make shit happen, adapt and overcome, figure it out. Don't be a little bitch. Get it done. Make it happen. I will talk to you later. This is the Mentorship Motivator. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.